Good morning, it's about 20 past 8 and it's a dark, cold, wet morning out there. We're not quite sure what we're doing today. If you remember from yesterday's vlog, Isabel wasn't very well. We're thinking now it's a bug, you know, because the dermatologist did say that if it was side effects it probably would have worn off and it wouldn't be getting worse. But by yesterday evening, she was feeling improved. She was down and she had some food, chatted to us a bit. She was definitely feeling better, not completely recovered. But today we're supposed to be rehearsing. IB stayed here last night because he does a couple of nights a week and he's gone off to do some work this morning with his business and he's coming back. And the plan was he was going to give Izzy a maths lesson before we had to set out for the rehearsal because I'm saving the hard bits for IB at the moment. Um, but I just gave Izzy a knock because I usually get her up at half past eight. It's just gone 20 past now and she did say that she still felt nauseous but you know sometimes you can when you just get woken up so I said I'll try you again in 15 minutes but if she's feeling unwell I'm going to have to change my plans and stay here with her and uh, I don't know what we'll do. IB will have to do rehearsing on my behalf. I need to get photos taken of us ideally today because I need to do a poster for the venues in Lisbon and of course we don't have one because we've never played together in a band before. My little routine in the morning is to sit and work on the vlog for the first hour when I get up. It's turned into my little weekday pattern but if that pattern gets disrupted that's when I have trouble getting a vlog out. I am feeling much better than yesterday anyway. I was worried about Izzy yesterday but I really think it's a bug. And I think she needs to rest and be pampered. I've got a gig tomorrow night, that's kind of awkward. Uh, but anyway, we'll decide what to do tomorrow. The only thing is I've got a transporter to my dad's place, you see. And it's whether she's going to be well enough to be transported. I've been up again to Izzy's room and she's still feeling nauseous. I do think she's better than yesterday, but she's uh, she's going to have to have another easy day I think so I am not going to the rehearsal so IB's gonna have to do all the hard work. I'm just looking out of the window here in my bedroom. It's 10 o'clock in the morning and it's storming. It's really dark out. IB is back, he's doing some work downstairs at my kitchen table. Izzy's in bed. I said just look just don't get up till you had enough sleep, you know, if you want to stay in bed, stay in bed. And I'm going to have a bath now. I've discovered that to get the water really hot in this house, you have to just run it really slowly till it gets to that temperature and then turn it up full. Oh, did you hear that? I want to keep the window open while I'm in the bath because I love listening to the rain. It makes me feel all cosy, but it's going to be a bit cold and drafty, so I think I'm going to have to shut it. I'm in Flute Cave now. It's starting to look really homely. Getting the lighting sorted, I look a bit yellow. Hmm. But anyway, Izzy's just pottering about. She's got herself some potato cakes and I think she's gonna go and eat them in bed. She's asked, can I read to her later on, for maybe about 1.30, something like that, so that we can at least get a bit of the schooling in but she's just going to lie and listen, that's all we're going to do. I am missing the rehearsal today, but before Invisible Boyfriend left to it, we sat down and we did actually make a list of some of the tunes that we're going to incorporate into it, so I have got some tunes to practice, so I'm going to practice those here on my own for the next hour or so before lunch. <laughs> we have got a seriously impressive static electricity thing going on here. Look at this. Look at that thread sticking up there off that sock. Look, when I go close to it, it gets interfered with. It's absolutely pointing really straight. Ooh, that's incredible. It's coming towards the lens. Ooh. Right, just go down. Boing. <laughs> it's ten past one. Izzy is eating yet more crumpets and potato cakes, which leads me to suspect she might be feeling a little bit better. I'm reheating last night's dinner, which is veggie mincy stuff with loads and loads of mushrooms and tagliatelle. It's up a bit high, actually. 
as he's asked me to read to her in a bit once I've had this, which is a great opportunity to cover some ground with Back Pride and Prejudice because we're still lagging. We've still got about, I don't know, just under 100 pages left to read. This looks delicious, but there's enough for two portions in there, you know. Lunch was good, and now the sun's coming out. <laughs> I'm going to go and read to the little Easter now. We're going to snuggle up in my bed and get all cosy, and I'll see if she wants a hot drink, maybe. There's a hot chocolate for an Izzy. And what's this poking out? Oh, the cute little footsies. Ooh. <laughs> Mr Wickham was so perfectly satisfied with this conversation that he never again distressed himself or provoked his dear sister Elizabeth by introducing the subject of it and she was pleased to find that she had said enough to keep him quiet. There's a line here, she's got three couple of ducks just fit to be killed and it says in the footnote, game birds such as ducks were sold in pairs, sometimes known as a brace and this is why the quantity of ducks is referred to as three couple, in other words three pairs. Very interesting. I just gave Izzy's arm a little gentle rub and it is amazingly smooth. It's incredible. Isabel often does this when she gets a bug. It just feels soft and as if it's producing its own oils. Amazing. I'm just going to sit here and stroke it for a bit. Is that all right, Dove? <laughs> you giggling under there. Yeah. When her immune system is busy dealing with the virus, it doesn't bother causing all the inflammation. So. One advantage to being ill when you've got this condition. Oh, look at that rain now. It's just really started to come down as we were sitting reading. Oh, it's easing off now. It was so noisy, I thought it was hail. As he wants to know what a haunch is, she's just um, asking Siri at the moment. I think it's a buttock. It's the, uh, the context is they're eating venison, which has been roasted to a turn. So Isabel's had a little guessing game to work out what venison is. Mm. And finally got there. And uh, yes, what is a haunch then? I think it's the butt, but I'm not sure. You sit on your haunches, don't you? Do you sit on your, I don't know. Top of the leg? Which part of the body is the haunch? Here's what I found. It says the buttock. It is the buttock. I was right! But they couldn't say that in a book like this, it just wouldn't be polite. They were eating a deer's butt. I was just saying to Isabel that legs are very funny things because they have a bottom at the top. The venison was roasted to a turn and everybody said they never saw so fat a haunch. The deer's saying, does my bum look big in this? It's ten to five now and the uh, weather is still as gorgeous as ever. Izzy and I have got about 21 pages left of Pride and Prejudice, but I ran out of steam. There's only so long I can read for, my throat starts cracking up. But I've had a little snack and a drink, and I'm going to go down to Flute Cave now and do some more flute practice. But thank you so much for watching today. Do give the video a like if you liked it. Comment down any thoughts below and hit the subscribe button to follow more of our adventures, and I'll see you in the next one.